Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well and you're having an amazing week so far. I can't believe it's Saturday and I've now got two weeks off for the school holidays and I'm so excited about it. I'm just literally gonna craft all day. I'm just gonna ignore the housework if I can. <laughs> we won't tell anyone. In today's video, this has to be the brightest, most colorful summary video I've ever done on my channel and I hope you guys love it as much as me because I am buzzing over the results of this video, honestly. The mold I'm using is this triple petri dish mold. I used this mold back in the early days of resin when I started two years ago, but those ones have pretty much, they're not worn out, but they're faded and they're dull. I really wanted shiny, poppy um, coasters for this, for this video. So I've purchased another two sets about a month ago from Amazon and they will be linked down below. They are really perfect for coasters and the shine is unbelievable. So the first thing I'm gonna do for these coaster molds is to actually cut them up. This is optional, you don't have to do this. I learned this from a fellow YouTuber, a fellow resin artist, and yeah, they just said it's so much easier to just cut them up into individual circles. You've got more control, you can move them around quicker, much easier than lifting it up as a threesome and trying to move it as a threesome. So again, you don't have to do this. This is just what I've decided to do and I'm telling you it has made my life so much easier. And especially if you only really wanna make one coaster at a time, you can just take one out of the cupboard, makes life so easy. So there are my four coaster rings actually cut up so much easier because you can actually, you know, move them around and it's easy to get them out of your way if you haven't got a carry three as well. How gorgeous are these? These were from Poundland pre-pandemic, okay? I haven't actually ventured out to the shops since March 2020 so I don't actually know if they still sell these I'm pretty sure they will and things are opening up now so if you do get a chance then you can go grab some but I mean they're so fun and funky and just so summery I bought three packs of exactly the same ones so you've got your pineapple and your pizza and your donut and then I got two packs of these ones which I love equally as much you've got your orange slice your rainbow and your lolly your fab fab lolly if anyone remembers the fab um got two packs of those but I think for consistency I don't know whether to do two and two might do that yeah so we'll go two and two and then we're just going to actually mix the resin pour it in this is such a simple one two layers and we are done First step for me is to get my mask on. I've already got my nitrile gloves on. The window now is over there. I'm sitting on the opposite side of my um, craft room because the sun is kind of like causing shadows. I'm gonna get my mask on. For those of you who are new to resin or new to my channel, I use a half mask face respirator. I've also got some goggles and I keep the window open and I've got my gloves on. I have pre-mixed the resin to save time and you guys don't wanna sit and watch that. The idea is to pour equal amounts into each Petri dish. It's a bit tricky, but I just go back and forth, back and forth. The film was a lot longer than this. I literally went back over each one a lot to make sure I pretty much got them equal. And then you're gonna use a heat gun to get rid of all of those bubbles. There are still a couple of pesky bubbles in the end, but honestly does not take away from how gorgeous they are. And these silicon molds can handle heat. They really can handle heat. Then I'm just gonna rip all the decals off of the paper clips. Don't worry, I did save the paper clips. They were they're still easy to use, so it's all good. And here you see some artistic license. <laughs> Go me. <laughs> and now I'm just going to place them into the moulds upside down, of course. And yeah, I'm going to do that to each and every one. I'm not so fussed. In the beginning, I was placing them down so they were all really, really neat and tidy and facing outwards and around the right way. And the faces were around, the, you know. And actually, after about five, ten minutes of moving them around, I thought they actually look a lot better if they're a bit scattered and they're not so you know, so strict. I didn't want to be so strict at this point. Um, I used my silicon tool, you can use a lollipop stick, to just move them around. I lifted them up, turned them upside down, put them back again, just to try and dislodge any of those air bubbles. And after I had done all of this, I actually went back again with the heat gun and I blasted each one with the heat gun. Like I said, these silicon, these silicon molds honestly can handle so much. I then found another pack, okay, because 
I was wondering why I had three packs of one and two packs of another. I would never just buy two packs, okay? So I found another pack and I put one um, image in the middle of each coaster. It was a lot easier. The colours I'm using are super bright colours. I'm using bright blue from Resin 8. These two colours I've got from Glass Cast and Resin 8 and bright pink from Resin 8 and I'm also using neon green from Resin 8. I didn't want them to be transparent. I wanted really solid block graphic opaque colour. So what I did end up doing was adding to those colours. So here you see me just adding the resin into these little pots. Again, I'm eyeballing it from the side to make sure that they've both got equal amounts of resin in because again, I want these coasters to be as flat level similar as possible. This blue from Resin 8, I think this is honestly one of my favorite blues. It's just so gorgeous. This is opaque, whereas this was the neon yellow. I added some glass cast yellow pigment, but it was still it was too transparent for me. I didn't want it to be see-through. I wanted it to be purely opaque. And the same with the green. I don't have a bright green, which obviously I need to get now, um, opaque colour. So into the yellow I ended up adding some mica powder and I did the same to the green. I added some resin A dark green emerald into the green just to give it an opaque look. I just, yeah, I didn't want it see-through. And now I'm just pouring every pot into their respective coaster mould, scraping all the edges. And these little food pots, honestly, I had to eat a lot of Indian takeaway to get these pots. <laughs> they clean out like a dream. They clean out like a dream. They are perfect for resin. Reusable, and I have reused them all a lot. And here we go again with the heat, just getting rid of all of those bubbles. Again, these coaster moulds can handle it. They really can handle it. I think because they're just manufactured, you know, you do have to be careful with homemade, handmade silicon moulds, but these guys are tough when it comes to heat. This is 24 hours later, time to demould, and I cannot wait. I hope there's not too much air bubble trapped underneath, but uh, we shall see. Tried my best to dislodge as much air as possible. Oh! Oh, I love it. Isn't that fun? That is so much fun. Oh, I love it. You know, I was tempted to go with a black background because the edge of these paperclip details are black and I thought the black background would make them pop. But I went with colour and I love, absolutely love, hardly any trapped air in there at all there's a bit around the donut if i can get close if my camera can cope there's a few around the donut i guess that's where the donut dips in the middle and i was really trying to get the air out but yeah oh i love i'm so glad i added some more green to that opaque i didn't want it i didn't want it you know vibrant neon okay the pink oh Oh my gosh, guys! This is my favourite. A hundred. Oh man, why didn't I do them all pink? I should have done them all pink. Look at this. Oh, this one. This one, hardly any air bubbles at all. Oh my. How fun are they? Oh, I could stare at this one all day. I think the Fab Lolly is my absolute favourite. And they're so kawaii. Like I'm not even sitting here pretending I really knew what that meant. But yeah, I've been informed they're very kawaii. Oh, I love it. I just love it. It's the back, the front. Oh my. These are so fun. So fun. Okay, blue. love again I actually really like the blue the blue is almost identical if or not like two shades darker than the blue inside those paperclip details oh I just love it do you know what I think it is at school my favorite I, I took art and design and graphic design at school and I always excelled at graphic design I just loved the 
the boldness, the, the, the sheer graphic nature of art, as opposed to fine art, fine drawings, portraits. This reminds me of graphic design at school, the pop of colour. Oh, I just love it. I absolutely love it. I love the cactuses as well. Cacti? Cacti. The pineapple. Oh my. See, I have not been in a shop since March 2020, apart from food shopping, and I cannot wait now until life returns to normal. I won't go to Poundland for the sake of going to Poundland, to be honest, but, oh, yellow as well is fun and funky, but because I added the mica powder, you can see that mica powder, you can see the clouds that mica powder produces, and I'm not a fan. It hasn't destroyed the piece or anything, but compare, oh, compare, to the opaque pink and then you've got the detailed fluffy mica powder oh guys i love these so much i love these so much i think my favorite two are definitely the blue and the pink again bringing back memories of the 90s when when these two colors were really in everything i owned like stationery had these two colors I just, oh, I'm over the moon. I'm chuffed to bits with how these turned out. I could just stare all day, all day. Right, I am going to stop talking. I hope you found this video fun, which is what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be bright, colourful and fun. And I hope that is what you got from this. And also, when you're out and about, you know, um, when things are safer and we can return to shops the way we used to, um, yeah, keep your eye out. Poundland paper clips just wow thank you all so so much if you have stayed to the end you're all superstars and yes okay I'll see you all in the next video bye